and I thought you were going to meet me at the forest. Forest? What's wrong? What's wrong? Felicia, we can't just pretend that last night never happened. We have to face this. We have to deal with these nightmares. I'm not pretending that it didn't happen. I know that those memories are a nightmare for you. Look, it's not just those memories. You want to know what scares me to death? It's what I haven't remembered. You mean that, like, something's buried deep down in your psyche? Yes. And if these dreams are like the other ones, how can I say that I love you and still drag you into the middle of this? I love you. Where you go, I go. No, I can't let you. We should, because I love you, I can't, I won't marry you. Acceptable. Look, it's not even up to me. That is just the point. My mind, my, my own life are not even in my control. I love you and I'm not going to involve you in this any deeper. I'm sorry. You're wrong. This is what love is all about. I took the marriage vows, for better or for worse, for sickness and health, till death do us part. I can't do this to you. You're not doing anything. I love you and you love me. I know you do. That's exactly why I can't marry you, because I love you. Well, you have a strange way of showing it. Don't you think I can handle adversity if we even have to? I didn't say that you could Well, it certainly handle... sounds like a Colton. Like I'm in for this for just a good time. Well, if that's the way you feel, well, maybe you're right. Maybe I should just take a walk. No, look, I'm not doubting you. Believe then me. Then why do I feel like I have to prove something to you after everything that we've been through? You don't have to prove it. I never stopped loving you, even after I thought that you killed Frisco. I know. And I was I so know. upset, I even left the country. And then when I came back, I practically found you in bed with Ariel. And, and, and I, I never gave up on us. Please. And I stop it. I'm talking to you. She tried to kill us, and she literally tried to kill me, and then she handed me a marriage license and said that the two of you were married? God, maybe I'm crazy. I, may, I feel like a fool, but I never, ever gave up on us. Look, Ariel trying to kill you, the, the marriage certificate, you're giving me a whole list of reasons why we shouldn't get married. Well, for Pete's sake, Colton. Look, marriage isn't something you just try out for a while. I Commitment know. Commitment for life. I know that. I don't have the right to ask you to get tied down to that psychiatric basket case I could become. You don't have the right to walk away from me. I love you. I want to marry you. And no bad things do happen. But they always happen unexpectedly. You know that, don't you? Yes. Yes, I do know that. <sighs> what did I do to deserve you? I don't know, but you're a really lucky guy. <sighs> do you have any idea? How much I love you. I thought I did until just a few minutes ago. And do you have any idea how much I don't want to hurt you? Look, what if sometime, I mean years from now, some dark monster surfaces from the depths of my mind? Well, you just keep saying if, not when. And you don't have to live in fear because you can talk to Tom. You're mine, and I'm not going to let you go, not without a really good fight. Mm. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk to Tom. Right now. Thank you. Oh, flowers. Uh, can we do that no, tomorrow? No, don't worry about them. This is more important. Go on. Thanks. No, wait a minute. I'll go with you. I have to see about some wedding invitations. the front so when they come in and then they get these oh, yeah. balloons everywhere and, and, and little flowers on the tables and little ball and chains at every point. Oh, oh, oh. Um, hi! Where are you going? Well, just wedding preparation. Oh, and I have to stop by the hospital and see Tom Hardy for a couple oh, minutes. Oh, well, I just talked to him. Um, in fact, oh, I haven't invited you yet. <laughs> She's right. You really shouldn't miss this. Mm -hmm. This okay. one. It's the last night at Duke's Club. Yeah, we're closing for renovations, so, you know, I'm throwing a party, and I want everybody to be there as my guest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know. Colton! It's... No, you have to come. I, 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 mean, I mean, it's the last night. We're going to see Duke's as it is. Uh, okay, well, we'll try to drop by. Okay. Yeah, okay. Right. okay. Thanks. Don't forget. Well, have fun anyway. Don't forget right, now. So. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't know either. We're throwing a party and the guest of honors aren't going to even show up. Amy, I need you to. Amy, what are you doing here? I work here. 
Amy, I know that. Don't be clever with me. I put you back on nursing duties. Why are you behind the desk? Oh, well, I'm back by popular demand. Some things around here don't function without me, like files. Can mm -hmm. I help you? Yes, I need Monica to sign... No, better yet, I need to find out where Monica is, please. I don't know. Amy! No, really, I don't know. Honest, I got a message and it said that she was called out of town. So I figured you would know. She was what? She was called out of town? Why? With I, whom? I don't know. Well, who took the message? The message for it. And I'm going to guess that they don't know any more than I know. What are you talking about? Out of town? Where the devil did she go? Gotta find out. Wait a minute. I want a word with you. What's your problem now, Alan? I want to know where Monica is. That's my problem. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? You obviously see... You obviously see more of my wife than I do. I want you to tell me where she is. You couldn't care less about your wife, so I don't know why you even bother to ask. To answer your question, I have the slightest idea where Monica is. Thank you. Hi, Detective Prey. Yeah. I'm Monica Quartermain. Oh, fine. Thanks for coming. You're here about the girl. Yes. Please sit down. Have a seat. Thank you. Uh, let me see if I can do something over here. This is Detective Crane. Um, you want to bring up that Dawn Winthrop from Holding? Right. Yeah. It's very nice of you to come, Dr. Quartermain. I hope this girl appreciates what you're doing. Well, I don't really know why I'm here. I, I, don't, I don't know what happened, really. Dawn was arrested? Well, she was picked up in a drug bust. Drugs? Yeah, yeah. In a not-so-very-nice bar on Lexington Avenue, where she was working. Well, Dawn, uh, she's, she's a student nurse in Port Charles. I mean, she's a very nice girl. Yeah, that's the impression I got, too. But she was waiting cocktails in this joint, and she happened to be there when the narcotics squad moved in. Was she taking drugs or selling them? No, 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 I don't think so, no. But she's in trouble anyway. She shouldn't have even been in a place like that. She's not old enough to walk into a bar, let alone work in one. She must have lied about her age to get the job. Huh. What's going to happen to her? Well, <laughs> frankly, I'd like to get rid of her. You know how many young runaway girls we got in this city? You know how many of them end up on the streets hooking or pushing dope or dead? I can imagine. Well, sometimes I don't like to face the truth, but I have to live with it. That's no reason that this Dawn has to. Now, I went out on a limb to call you. And that's because I just don't want to see a nice girl like that mixed up with a bunch of undesirables, you know? Yes. What, what can I do? Well, take her back to Port Charles. Look out for her. You mean I would be, uh, I have to be a guardian, or? No, not officially, but, oh, hey. I don't want to see a nice kid like that end up in jail. You'd be amazed at what a young girl like that can learn in a joint like that. I am. Um, I don't really want to think about it. Yeah, come in. Dawn! What's she doing here? What happened to you? Nothing happened to me. I didn't ask them to call you, and I don't want your help. Hey, hey. Staying in jail is easy. Getting out. That's hard. Detective, what do I have to do to, um, be able to take her back to Port Charles? Are you kidding me? No way am I ever going back to Port Charles. 